This lesson three will cover the key dynamic performance specifications that increase value in precision DAX. The objectives of this lesson are to present the nature and the sources of the noise seen at the output of a precision DAC, and an introduction of the dynamic performance specifications that might become a pain in certain applications. When looking at a precision DAC datasheet, noise is specified in one or two ways. Output noise spectral density, which is typically measured at 1 kHz and 10 kHz, and specified in units of nanovolt per root earth, and output voltage noise, or 1 over F noise, which is a voltage peak-to-peak -peak noise measurement. The output noise spectral density is the noise energy with respect to frequency. The noise spectral density is made up of two noise sources, 1 over F noise and thermal noise. 1 over F noise is also known as flicker noise or pink noise. It is due to the nature of the components and impurities of the process. There is no general equation to define this noise. Thermal noise is also known as Johnson noise or resistor noise. The noise is generated by the thermal electron agitation. This noise is proportional to the resistance as outlined by the equation on this slide. So at a particular frequency, all the other terms are constant, so the noise is proportional to the resistance. The plot represents the noise spectral density for the high precision AD5780 family. These are a family of 16, 18 and 20 bit resolution precision devices, where the low noise performance is key to achieving accurate linear performance. Essentially, the noise has to be lower than the minimum voltage step or LSB. The AD5780 family is based on an R2R core. The R2R ladder network architecture is the optimum DAC core for reducing thermal noise, as it minimizes the output impedance, which is the dominating noise contributor. In this case, the noise is 8 nanobar per root earth, making it ideally suited for high-precision, ultra-stable applications. The 1 over F noise region up to 10 Hz and the thermal noise at higher frequencies are indicated in this graph. Previously, measured only in the 0.1 Hz to 10 Hz frequency range. The plot shown is the peak to peak noise for the 85780 18 bit DAC with an output voltage noise of 1.1 microvolt peak to peak. An ideal DAC would transition from one level to another instantly and accurately. A real-world DAC, however, will not follow this ideal characteristic. When a new code is loaded, there's a delay before the output starts to change. The output will take time to transition to its new level. This is dependent on the slew rate. The output may not stop at the final value straight away it may overshoot and oscillate before settling. Again, this can be load dependent. Settling time is the measure of how long it takes for the output to settle to plus minus 0.5 LSBs of the final value from when it was programmed to update. This can be from the last clock edge or the rising edge of a chip select, for example. The output final settle value will be within the TUE specs for the part. The plot shows the ideal zero order whole step response of the DAC output with the green dashed line and a more typical output that demonstrates some of the errors that can be observed with the blue line. DAC errors may be broken into two categories, static and dynamic. Static errors are observed after the output has settled to a new value and are typically caused by element mismatches that result in non-ideal linearity characteristic or gain errors. Low frequency spurious free dynamic range performance can be closely correlated to DC linearity performance and can also impact small signal spurious free dynamic range at higher frequencies. Dynamic errors occur during a code transition 
and are usually dependent on the step size. These errors typically dominate at higher output frequencies. Slew rate is a measure of how fast the output changes. Because the initial and final stages of the output changing can be non-linear, the slew rate is measured during the linear region of the output transition. Most slew rate measurements are taken in the linear region between one quarter and three quarter scale because this removes any possible headroom and footroom issues. Slew rate is specified in volt per microsecond. The plot shows the slope of the output response of the 85380, 40 channel voltage output DAC with a slew rate of 2.5 volt per microsecond. Glitch is a transient response observed on the output when transitioning from one code to another. The maximum glitch typically occurs during a major code transition, from 01111 to 10000, or vice versa. This is because the, this code transition causes all the internal switches to change state. Characterization data is now gathered on all successive code transitions for our DAX. Glitch is specified in nanovolsec, which is the area of the transient response. In the case of the AD5060 nanodac, this is specified as being less than 3 nanovolsec. The peak-to-peak -peak amplitude is also specified, in this case being less than 3.5 millivolt. The important point to emphasize is that the glitch is a very short duration, and while it may be easily observed on an oscilloscope, the end application may well have a much slower response time, so the glitch is invisible to the system. Indeed, the delay of some systems can be dominated by the PAD control algorithms, which can be a hundreds of milliseconds in duration. Here, there is an example of the specifications table that is contained in the datasheet. Above the table of specifications, we give the conditions under which the specifications are granted. Bars are tested through production to meet the conditions quoted. Usually, supply ranges and load conditions are quoted in this area. The static performance section has information such as INL, DNL, and the main DC linearity specification. This is where the total unadjusted error specification will lie. The footness section is important to read. This often indicates the temperature range of the device. So now you know that understanding the DAC specifications in detail will enable better DAC selection for optimum systems performance. In terms of DC performance, resolution or DNL is more important for a closed loop system, while accuracy or INL is more important for an open loop system. Total and adjusted error provides a truer indication of the device performance than simply taking the worst case maximum error sources and adding these values together. 1 over F noise, flicker noise or peak noise is due to the nature of the component and impurities of the process. There is no general equation to define this noise, whereas thermal noise, Johnson noise or resistor noise is generated by the thermal electron agitation. This type of noise is proportional to the resistance of the DAC. Glitch duration is usually of very short duration and faster than the system response time to settle, so its impact is minimal.